This, this is a game. The Shining, Scream, they're all horror films. Awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> Hey guys, so today we are going back to the roots of this channel and doing an old-fashioned movie review. Now this one is called Fear Inc, which I had discovered just browsing through Hulu, which it is available on Hulu if you have that. Heard nothing about it. Uh, I think I watched the trailer before watching the movie. It was made in 2016, directed by Vincent Maschiali. I think that's Italian. I'm horrible at pronouncing that. Sorry. So this movie is based on the short that was created in 2014, also called Fear, Inc., which is directed by the same guy and written by the same guy. And I think the writer of both uh, starred in uh, the short version. I have not seen the short. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you guys. But basically, they turned their short film into a full-length feature film. There will be spoilers in this review, by the way, but I will warn you before I get into them, which will be at the end of the video. I know people get really annoyed when I do spoilers in general, which I don't understand because I always give you guys enough advance notice to turn the video off if you have not seen it or don't want to be spoiled. So this movie follows a guy named Joe who loves horror and he's never scared enough. Haunted houses don't do it for him, nothing does it for him anymore. I guess he's just desensitized. So he hears about this company called Fear Inc. Basically Fear Inc is a company that you can pay money to scare you and like legitimately scare you. We see an example of this in the beginning of the film which is the intro to the movie where we see Abigail Breslin. She makes cameo in this movie. She is running through being chased in a parking garage and eventually is attacked. So Joe calls eventually. I mean there's a lot of other plot that happens but you're not here for that. Joe calls. They're, they say that it's so Sold out but you know it's really not and then weird things start happening to him his girlfriend and their two friends I'm not sure whose house I think they're at his house and it's kind of like a sleepover they're just doing double day sleepover kind of thing and these weird things you start to think well it could be fear ink but you're kind of questioning it and thinking what if it's real and it's not fear ink and maybe that's the twist but as a whole this movie um wasn't that enjoyable for me only because I literally called every single twist that happened every single one I watched this with my boyfriend and before anything happened I would say exactly what would happen and then it would happen so this movie is very predictable especially if you have seen horror movies in the past which I assume if you're watching my videos you have watched some horror movies in your lifetime. It's hard to say whether this movie is self-aware of what it was doing with the cheesy horror tropes that it was using because in in the beginning and throughout the film they talk about their favorite horror movie death scenes or their favorite horror movies i don't know they kind of talk about horror movies a lot throughout the film so i don't know if it was like aware of itself and how cheesy some of the moments were or if it wasn't you know like cabin in the woods the whole first half of the film was a cheesy horror film like typical kind of movie however those negative thoughts being said I do think that it is an enjoyable movie to watch I mean it's it's a hit or miss for some people I think and for me too I give this movie a 6 out of 10 but part of it of being enjoyable is the fact that even if you think you know what's going to happen, you're kind of holding out hope that maybe you'll be proven wrong and there will be a different kind of twist. So that kind of feeling adds to the suspense, but the suspense is definitely decreased because you kind of already know what's going to happen. There is some gore. It's all right. It's it's not bad gore. Um, obviously, there's suspense suspense wow overall it was kind of disappointing I didn't really go into it with any expectations though um so I mean it was like okay it was entertaining I finished the whole thing it was it wasn't that bad but six out of ten for me three of the actors in this movie are actually also in American Horror Story which is really interesting and also one of those actors is also Schizo Head in Rob Zombie's 31 so now we're gonna talk about the twists there are three um that you know that seems to be too many in my opinion but it kind of kept the movie interesting without it it definitely would have been way worse of a movie for me so because we're talking about the twist this is your spoiler alert warning um yeah i'm gonna talk about some spoilers so if you haven't seen it or you know just don't want to be spoiled i don't know if you don't want to hear the spoilers don't watch <laughs> so the first twist that we see play out is the very beginning of the whole process so you see the people kind of 
start to attack them and the viewer is actually led to believe that it's all real. And I think one of the scariest parts of this movie is this beginning twist because there's a TV newscaster who's saying that Joe, the main guy, has just killed all of his friends. This happens before any of the action happens. So you're like, oh, so that's kind of cool. That makes you believe that it's Fear Inc. because why would a news station report on news that hasn't happened yet if it was real life, you know what I'm saying? But what makes this scary is the fact that it kind of starts to come true, which is really, really cool. So you believe it's all real because the gore is real. So one of his friends is tied up, he has to cut off his hand and he does. And then he has to dig through his organs to find a key, which he does. Um, and so you're like, wow, this really is real. This is disturbing. He's killing his friends thinking that it's Fear Inc. He thinks that it's all fake, but the viewer is like, no, that's real. But then surprise, his friends are in on it. They're all alive, including his ter terrified girlfriend who has been like overacting the whole time. So that's the first twist. The second twist actually starts before that's revealed. There is a scuffle between him and one of the employees. That employee is actually the one that told him about Fear Inc, gave him the card in the beginning of the movie. And they get into a scuffle and Joe kills him. He strangles him. Once that happens, the girlfriend wakes up or like pretends to not be dead anymore, I don't know, and says, what did you just do? And he's like, what do you mean? I killed him. Like, isn't this all part of it? And she's like, you killed him. Like, you killed a human. Like, he's an employee of Fear Inc. What are you doing? And that's how it's revealed to the viewer and to Joe that it it is all fake. So the twist continues by the girlfriend saying, let's hide the body and her readiness and, you know, being okay with this idea tells me that there's another twist coming. So that part was really stupid, how ready she was to be like, let's hide the body. If they find us or find out that we killed their employee, they're gonna come after us, which that's what happens. They get caught by Fear Inc. And there's this whole thing about them. They put a hood over his head. They pretend to kill his girlfriend. They leave him in the desert. The twist is still going, are you with me? So then he walks, he gets out of his binds, whatever. He walks all the way to a diner to use the phone and when he calls 911, um, the girl on the other end is like, are you scared yet? And then he looks and it's his girlfriend is sitting right next to him. Well, it's like down the bar, but she was the one on the phone. So she reveals that that was all part of the package. He didn't actually kill the guy. He probably took like tranquilizers, I don't even know. Um, he didn't actually kill the guy. He was pretending to be dead, even though a million people, I mean, he checked his pulse and he said he was, I don't know, technicalities. There's some weird things. This whole movie is not believable, but like that specifically doesn't make sense to me that whole plot point. So that's the second twist. The third twist starts at the end of the movie. They're all celebrating drinking beer and in my mind I'm like mm, something's not right. There's still some movie left and this is supposed to be the end of the film. I don't I don't like what's happening. And in my mind I'm like even if this was all fake who what kind of girlfriend would do that? Like while he was screaming thinking his girlfriend was being murdered if I was that girlfriend I'd be like that's not entertainment. That's not fun for anyone. Like that's not what fear is about. Fear is knowing that it's fake. Anyway, I just think that's not realistic. I don't think a real girlfriend would do that. Maybe they would, I don't know. It depends on your relationship, but I don't know. It just, that seems way too over the top for it to be like, so, just kidding. But I guess that you get what you pay for with Fear Inc. It's supposed to be very like damaging to you. So the very end of the film, this is the twist. You think that they're all like celebrating. It's like, oh, that was a successful scare, whatever. But then and the employees start to surround him, his girlfriend, and his two friends. They snap his friend's neck, they shoot the girl in the head, and then they slice his girlfriend's throat. The ending line is super cheesy. The guy's like, I wouldn't let you leave without experiencing some of your favorite death scenes. And then he's like, cut to black. Oh, sorry, cut to black, bitch. That's what he says. So those were the three twists. It definitely goes back and forth between what's real, what's fake, you don't really know but I called every single one of them because they made it so obvious. Like the the way the actors were acting, it just made it seem like, well, obviously there's something else that's gonna happen. Like, I don't know, it just that kind of wasn't that fun for me because I knew everything that was gonna happen. So at the beginning of the film, one of the things that don't make sense to me is when the friend is like, they physically hurt you. Like you're signing up to be injured or emotionally traumatized. However, he's heard great reviews about it and that it's totally worth it. How would he know or who leaves these reviews if they kill you every single time? Because he had mentioned his boss signed up for it, which was the woman in the beginning of the film. 
and she hasn't been to work in weeks and he's just assuming because she's emotionally traumatized but she actually died because they kill you like that's the ultimate fear I guess <laughs> you know you just end up dead but who leaves the reviews like the employees like I don't understand what he means by that anyway there's a lot of plot holes kind of like that um just not believable of a storyline at all but if you want a cheesy kind of gore actiony suspenseful film that you kind of call every single twist it's honestly it's not scary so you can definitely if you're a newbie to horror or you know you could definitely watch this film that's for sure let me know down below if you've seen fear inc and your thoughts on it if you knew the twists as they were gonna happen um yeah leave your comments suggestions requests down below as well i hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you soon bye